When the canals were first built, horses were the main means of moving boats. There were no engines and the twisting, narrow canals of England were unsuitable for wind power. Sails were only seen on estuaries or in a few places where they were practical. Horses towed boats on a long rope from a towing path that was always built alongside the canal. This had to be wide enough for two horses to pass and to be well surfaced so that the horse could get a good grip. The path was built so that horses could keep on towing with as few stops as possible. So the path is and remains to this day a route with gentle slopes and no steps. journey from Cheshire to the London Canal Museum just along the, the, the canal here today and the and it's wonderful to welcome Tony who is the chair of the canal, canal and, river trust. and river trust and I know there are a number of other volunteers here from there as well as many from the London Canal Museum too. The thing that's so wonderful about this is that it brings the canal to life that here we are in the centre of you know one of the great global cities and that we have the canal that brings in wildlife environment and just to make it perfect we're going to have Buddy uh, the horse uh, who's just behind us there who will shortly be uh, tied up to the boat to take it on its last mile up the canal so can I thank everybody because we wouldn't have the canal system we have today if it wasn't for the volunteers working on it all. And so it's a real, as I say, privilege and pleasure to be here to thank you for everything you're doing. So well done for bringing you into Westminster today. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you. Well done, everyone. There are many reminders to this day of the days of horse boating. Crews were worn in all sorts of canal infrastructure by the wet and gritty towing lines. Bridges, posts at locks and other canal structures show us the telltale signs. In days of horse boating, obstruction of the towpath was strictly forbidden, whereas today boats can moor up anywhere that's safe. In the past, mooring was not allowed because it would impede other boats. Bridge at Camden Town was built in the 1840s to enable horses to cross to the opposite side of the canal so as to avoid the basins that were on the side of the towpath. <laughs> Boating with a horse can be difficult in the 21st century. All sorts of obstructions exist, such as fences, motorcycle barriers and vegetation that has been allowed to grow larger than would have been permitted in the past, to say nothing of the many leisure boats now using the canals. Steam tugs were used from the mid-19th century to pull several barges at a time. 
Steam was never a great success in narrow boats like Ilfeston, because the engine and the coal to fire it took up so much space. Internal combustion engines started to be used on canal boats from 1911, so Ilkeston was one of the last to be built for the horse. Battlebridge Basin was built in the 1820s for William Horsefall, a local landowner. There is no towing path and boats would have been manoeuvred by the crew using long poles. walking or on a train or on a car, suddenly you see a narrowboat gliding really between fields. You just don't see the canal. It's a beautiful sight and they give people an enormous amount of pleasure. They are both green and they add also to our ecosystem and, and wildlife. I think they're marvellous. Um, to see a horse doing its traditional job is wonderful. And it's one of those things reminds you of a time when industry was the central part of often a horse's life and uh, of anyone who went on a canal. Different now, but even so, I think canals have a great future, big changes uh, afoot, uh, which I'm not an expert in, so I'm not taking sides. And I can only hope that more and more people will get involved and that canals will flourish even more. And we hope with a few more horses. Exactly. Thank you. Here we go. Wish it happy birthday. There we are. Happy birthday. Thank you so much.